Wouldn't it be great if when you logged into Airtable, you saw the most important stuff right there at the very top prioritized for you? Well, thanks to the new feature that Airtable has just released, this is now possible. In this video, we're gonna go into quick detail about how you can really unlock some serious potential with the new sorting toggle, and more importantly, go into where it starts to break down and where it doesn't quite solve all the problems all the time. So if that's of interest to you, let's get on into it. All right, as I mentioned in the intro, we are gonna be taking a look at this new toggle feature for the sorting uh, function within Airtable. So without further ado, let's jump on in. So here we are, I've got a really simple base kind of set up here and it's just tracking events. So we've got you know different events that we might be holding and then the different tasks that pertain to those events and then the date of the event. And then over here on the tasks table, you'll see we've just got um, the projects or, or different events and each of those events has the same three tasks. So task A, B, and C. And we can assign a person in charge to these each different task and we're bringing in the date of the event. This is coming from the event table. This is a lookup at the date. And then we're also uh, able to put a date due for this specific task. And then we also have a checkbox for completion. So this is kind of a, a standard setup between let's say events and tasks or projects and tasks. And these are the types of things that you're gonna do uh, quite often inside of Airtable. So uh, with that setup, let's take a look at how this new uh, functionality works. So first and foremost, you know, the first thing we might do here is do a grouping so that we can look at tasks by name. So we're gonna group, or excuse me, not tasks by name, um, projects. So we're gonna group all of these uh, tasks by projects so that we can really easily see, oh, we've got these three things that we need to do for this task or these three things for the other task. So far, so good. Now, the other um, you know, thing that we might do is add a filter on here where we're gonna get rid of those uh, completed. So anywhere that something's been completed, we're gonna say, hey, look, uh, you know, this task has been done already, get it out of my view, right? And so when we apply this filter and then apply this grouping, now we have a nice clear cut vision of what we might wanna do. So these are the upcoming tasks that haven't been completed yet and they're grouped by event. Now we can come in and start throwing in some due dates for these things. So maybe this is due, you know, a few days before the event here. And then this stuff over here is, is due a few days before this event. And you get the idea, right? I'm just picking some random dates in here. But of course, you know, I think for, for most businesses, you probably uh, have some sort of a system or workflow to this. Well, now what we can do is we can apply this uh, sorting and we can sort by due date. And what it's gonna do is it's going to rearrange that, um, that data inside of the grouping. Remember, sorting always happens after grouping. So what that means is the grouping is going to take precedence and then we're gonna sort by whatever sorting uh, you know, features we've uh, pointed it towards. So let's suppose that we were to sort by this date due. That would be this field right here. And we can choose if we want that to go chronologically or reverse chronologically. So let's go chronologically and you see now where these tasks used to go in order of A, B, C, now they are switched around in some cases because task C is before task A and task A here is before B and here we have C before A and B. And so this sorting field, and here's where the new feature is really unlocked, is we have this new toggle switch and this is allowing us to keep it sorted. So before we couldn't keep it sorted. Before we had to sort it and then if we added a new record or some things got moved around, we had to come back and resort the data. But now with the keep it sorted toggle, every time we add something new to this, it's gonna automatically be put into the right order. So let's go ahead and uh, create an example here. Let's say we have another uh, task and we'll call that task D. And let's give that a due date of um, 2, 1. You see, as soon as I'm done filling out that uh, date due, it's automatically putting it here in order right under task A. If I were to change this due date to January, let's say, uh, as soon as I click out of that, it's going to rearrange it. And that is the new toggle feature at work. This didn't used to happen and this is really great because now what we can do is give ourselves just the data we need to see at the top of the page, right? And so without having to go in and manually click that sorting button over and over again, we can take care of that. So 
If you had a team, let's say there was a team of people and only some of these tasks were assigned to some people. Now, quick pause. In this case, this base is only shared with me, so I'm the only possible collaborator on this dropdown. But if you had a large team, you would have everyone that you shared the base with. And so people could create personal views where by duplicating this view, I could apply another filter. Let me go ahead and rename this view really quickly. I'll, care, I'll call this my personal view. And I can make it personal view by clicking personal view if you're on the pro plan. But inside of here, what I can do then is add the filter where uh, the collaborator or the person who is in charge of this is myself. And now I'm only seeing those tasks that I'm responsible for, which is super helpful. And so taking this a step further, I might not even care which, uh, I, I might not need this grouping anymore. So I could ditch the grouping and instead I just see my tasks that are due to me or due by me and when they are coming due. So I can really easily prioritize my work and make sure that I'm getting things done in a timely manner. Okay, so probably by now you're convinced that the task toggle function is pretty cool and uh, definitely making this whole, um, the whole sorting a lot simpler. But let me talk briefly about where this starts to break down. So the breakdown really happens in the fact that the grouping will always take precedence to sorting. And this is both a great thing, it's a feature, but it, it also kind of makes things a little bit unwieldy sometimes. Let's suppose you know we were going back and just looking at that uh, sorting. Let's go ahead and sort them by the date due again. What you notice is with them grouped, the, uh, the tasks that are far out, that is, uh, in this case, we have one that's 2-3 and one that's 2-1, and here above it is a 2-11 due date, right? And the reason behind this is because they are first being grouped by the projects. If I got rid of that grouping, as I showed you earlier, then these do go in a true chronological order. But with that grouping in place, they will always be grouped first and then sorted. And so this starts to break down if your view is specifically just looking, I mean, if you're creating a view where you wanna see the task that is most recent or the next task due, but you have a grouping filter or a grouping uh, function already applied to it, then the whole task uh, ordering kind of goes out the window in a way because you can't just look right up at the top of your screen to see that net the next task due. So just be aware of that when you're setting up your views that if you want to see the most recent date up there at the top uh, or whatever it is you're sorting by, make sure that you have that grouping off or that you're at least aware of the fact that it's gonna be grouping first and then sorting. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did and you want to get more Airtable updates, be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on our future content. And if you're looking for a little extra, you can always swing by our website as well and check out the different things we put together there. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.